Do you think that sex work ought to be decriminalized? I think so. I do. When you're talking about consenting adults, I think that, you know, yes, we should really consider that we can't criminalize consensual behavior. Kamala Harris backing the idea of legalized prostitution, a far cry from her position as San Francisco DA. Coming out against Proposition K, a 2008 ballot measure to decriminalize prostitution in the city by the bay, Harris telling the New York Times at the time it would put a welcome mat out for pimps and prostitutes to come in to San Francisco. Andy Lobert is a former sex trafficking victim who worked as a call girl in Vegas and thinks legalization is a terrible idea. She now leads a nonprofit called Hookers for Jesus and joins me now. So, Annie, when you were a young girl, I believe 16 years old at the time, you got into prostitution. How did that happen? I was actually a teenager, and I was at a nightclub one night with my girlfriend and I, and I was working three jobs, wanted to go to college. Poverty drove me into prostitution. We met these guys that were undercover sex traffickers. I ended up in Las Vegas the first night that I worked. There was a trafficker that beat me almost bloody till I died. And oh I God. actually was stuck in this life for 10 long years on the Las Vegas trip. And mind you, Las Vegas is not legal for prostitution. However, we have counties that are legalized prostitution. And the stats say that when you have legalized prostitution, sex trafficking goes rampant. Right. And the people that run the trafficking operations, those are the pimps. And those people are the ones traditionally beating the women, um, controlling the women, giving them drugs, and they take most of the profits. Were you they ever in danger? They take, they take all, all of the profits. They take all. They take all of the <laughs> yes, profits. Yes, I was in danger. Were you ever in danger? So many... Was there ever? Well, I mean, tell us, describe us in detail what exactly could happen or happen to you in that. So system. I went on a call to a very nice hotel in a nice suite, and this man decided to take the money back when he didn't get what he wanted from me. And he tried to throw me out a 22nd story window. And thank God I was smart. I almost gouged his eyes out. He let go of me and then proceeded to try to pull me back out to the window. And back then the windows went open like three to four feet. So it was very easy for him to do this. And I ended up in the hallway screaming and thank God security came to help me. And these two little old people that were down the hall heard me screaming and put a nice robe on me and comforted me. But that man checked out and got away with it. He got away with it because you didn't call the police, obviously. You, you can't. I was doing something illegal. There's no protection. Right. So now the senator says if you legalize it, maybe those things won't happen because people would go to the police and it would be better regulated. Now, to Kamala Harris, what would you say? That is not true, and I want to ask her a question. I would love to have a debate with her about this. Have you ever been sold for sex, Kamala? Have you? Do you know what it feels like to be used as a receptacle 10 to 20 times a day, abused and scalpeled for these men's pleasures? I'd like to see if she could even handle one time it happening to her. I guarantee you, if she understood the dangers and the abuses that happen with this, she would never want to legalize this profession. And it's not a profession well, to she any says of us that have been there that adults, have been abused. And that's the deal. If the adults are consenting, then who's anyone to say in America what's right or wrong? I'll give you the last word. I believe that if we legalize prostitution, we are going to send our country in a downward spiral. It will change every thought process for a man towards a woman. We're already exploited in the media, and it's going to make our country, and little boys are going to grow up thinking that it's okay to purchase women. Men buy women and use us like a coffee cup and throw us away when they're done. That is not what we want to share with our country and teach our different generations of how to treat women. We need to be respected. We need, and I heard this saying from a friend of mine, mm -hmm. we need jobs, not blow jobs. All right. Annie, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much. You're welcome.